It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to add multiple free animations to your 3D model's armature. To do this, we're going to need Blender, a 3D model, and some animated armatures from Mixamo. I'll be using Blender 3.4.1. You can find a link to this in Blender's general download page down in the description. I'll be using this 3D model of a panda from Sketchfab. Before adding any Mixamo animations, you will want your mesh to be in a T pose. You'll also want to remove any armature it already has. If you'd like to see a walkthrough for how to make any model into a T-pose, or how to remove the bones, I linked these down in the description. Now, let's get to some animations from Mixamo. The first thing we want to do is download the T-pose. This will be important to make our mesh compatible with all of the other animations. Just click download and select with no skin. Next, let's pick up a couple fun ones. I bet our panda would look really silly dancing. Ooh, like this one. Let's download that, again, without skin. Let's have him do a push-up too. Once you have these downloaded, let's head over to Blender. Once in Blender, make sure you have your mesh imported in a T-pose and without any bones. Go to File, Import FBX, and let's import the T-pose. Take a minute to align this with your mesh. If you have any trouble figuring out what bone should go where, just click on the individual bone and you can see its name. This might give you a hint where to put it. Once you have it all lined up, we need to set the armature's parent to the mesh. To do this, just click on the mesh, then hold Shift and click the armature. Now, right click and press parent, then choose with automatic weights. You can test this by clicking the armature, going into pose mode, and moving a bone. Now, let's quickly ensure this is our rest pose. Click on the mesh and click the drop down on the armature modifier and select duplicate. Apply the first one. Now, select the armature, go into pose mode, select pose, apply, and apply as rest pose. Our model is prepared. Now, it's time to add some animations. Go to File, Import, FBX, and import the animations we downloaded. In another Blender panel, like the default one at the bottom, open the thing called Dope Sheet. In Dope Sheet, select Action Editor from the dropdown. The current action is our T-Pose. It looks like Mixamo gave it this funny name. We can rename it so that it's easier to see later. Next, we're going to open up an additional Blender panel. To do this, go to the corner of the viewport so that the mouse turns into a little plus sign. Click hold and drag to the left. In this new panel, open the nonlinear animation panel. Here, we'll see any available armatures in the actions or animations that they possess. It looks like our panda has its T-pose. However, it doesn't have a little star next to it. This means it is not stored. And if we change to another animation, it will go away. Let's click the little push down button. And there, it now has its star. We can go back down to the action editor and we'll see the new button. Open the drop down menu to the left of it. These Mixamo animations have similar names. If we select an armature that we know, like the dancing one, we can then change the name here. When we go back to our panda's armature, we can see the name in the drop down list. Select this. Now for the fun part, press spacebar. This should play the animation. Is your character moving? How cool is that? Let's not forget to store our action. Go up to the nonlinear animation panel and click the push down button. Let's do this again for the push up. Click the push up, change the name, click our mesh's armature, select the name, and press space. <laughs> Very nice. Let's store this too. Now that we have these stored, we can click the stars to select the current animation we want to use. Look at that! Together we have added multiple animations to our mesh. Please, let me know down in the comments if I helped you. Have a great day, and thanks for attending Class Outside.